some hoarders. They're going to be playing some more Gran Turismo Sport. Um, I need to see... I don't remember what... Vehicle, like what type of vehicle we need for the next race. Um, is it the four-wheel drive one? Yes, it is, isn't it? Because we did the Audi TT last time. Okay, so I already have a vehicle ready for the four-wheel drive challenge. Um, what one was it? Okay, so we need 394. I'm pretty sure my Subaru Impreza is what I ended up picking for this. Uh, there it is. 394. Can it? Yeah, it can definitely go that low. That's going to be as high as we can get that. I'm going to leave all that go then. Yeah, that's... That should be just fine. Um, I really couldn't find a vehicle that I really wanted for this. Um, I know last episode I showed you guys that they added the Toyota... Was it the Tundra? Or... It was one of the Toyota, like the newer trucks. What's the other one? The Titan? It was either the Tundra or the Titan. I think it might have been the Titan. But... I had this ready for a while, um, since well before the last video, because what happened was there was an update and I try to keep up to where I'm at currently, if that makes sense. Like, I had to go back and do, uh, what was it, the lightweight K-Cup last episode, even though I already did that, but they added, um, two more races to it. So I went back and did them. Get your fucking skyline out of my way. I was actually thinking about using the skyline. You saw it, you could see it on my list um, of eligible vehicles, but there's not really a wide variety of four wheel drive vehicles even in this game. Um, but you have to have four wheel drive to be able to do this league. But, as always, I set this up on the Nürburgring, um, because that's just, I know that track so well, like, I've done the track so often that I know how it's supposed to feel, how you're supposed to be able to floor it through a lot of turns without, uh, without even letting off the gas, and how it's supposed to, just the way it's supposed to act when you go around the turn. So, I would say I did a pretty good job setting this one up. Um, I think I do have to... Okay, I haven't played this in a while. I had to try to remember how to do this. Uh, let's do it at one. The only reason I even use traction control is because I'm not... As far as a controller goes, I'm not good with... Um, with, like, feathering the pedal while doing races. If it's, like, GTA and I get stuck somewhere, that's easy. I can get pretty much unstuck from anywhere. But when it's races like this where you gotta go around a turn, do all that, I'm sure with this car it wouldn't be a problem at all. Um, it actually doesn't feel like it's even letting off even a tiny bit. I uh, break really I didn't even see how many races there were I think it was like six place are we okay we're in first we're about to start lapping people get out of me way is that a Toyota no that's a Mazda Holy tits, 10 laps. Hope the rest of them aren't this long. I could see there being 10 laps if there was like two races, like this and one other one, but 
There's like at least five races in this series. looking to see if they had uh, fuel usage on because I was like 10 laps so we're probably going to be pushing like half tank at that point I don't know how bad this is on gas but nah, maybe not that much but it is accelerated compared to real life So we lapped, what, one person? That fucking slow-ass guy in the Mazda. See, that turn, if you cut it right, you can go fairly quick around it without even braking. But it's kind of a weird turn to hit. Yeah, I, I still don't know what I'm going to do when I get to uh, the Endurance series and stuff. I'm sure I could do videos on it, but I think what I might do is do recording while streaming. Because that way I could interact with people, I guess, at the same time. Because some of those are like 60 laps. And 60 laps, ugh. I guess that'd be about the same as doing, like, an entire race series. Because I just did 10 laps on this one. And then I have at least four more races to do. I almost lapped those people. That wouldn't have been that hard to do. Okay, on to the second race. Okay, I just checked. There are only five races in this series. Uh, this is a four-lapper, though, so this should be fairly quick compared to... Especially compared to the last race. I mean, this is longer straights, but you can also floor it a lot longer. Um, I don't know if I set the transmission right for this. I wasn't expecting to be able to go really far, like long distance straight stretches. I made it more for, like I said, I set it up for uh, the Nürburgring. There's only, see that's the thing about the Nürburgring. There's like one or two areas where you can go really fast. Like the last straight, um, you can fucking floor it and you're no matter what vehicle you have you're gonna hit top speed with on that within that uh, straight stretch but the rest of it is mostly turns and the max that you can really do on a lot of the parts is like 140 um, and that's that's pushing it um, I think 140 that's after you get this is going to be hard to explain. Uh, I'm driving like shit. I know this track a little, but I'm not doing a good job on it. It also doesn't help that I haven't been playing this yet again. Um, I don't know, I just don't... Like, it, I'm going to play it every week for a video until the game's done. Um, but it's kind of li like, other than videos, I really don't want to play it much. Like, I don't need to play it other than videos because unless I, I think what happened was I was over prepared. I'm like three cars ahead of where I need to be. Like, I have a car ready for like the next three series. Um, 
so I just haven't been playing it, trying to get the cars upgraded and tuned and stuff like that. I think that's why I haven't really been playing it. Wow, it's dark in here. I can barely tell the difference between the car and the actual tunnel. Probably hit 170 by the end of the straight stretch. And there we go. I made it hit 170. I wasn't going to stop until I did. Too fast, too fast, a little too fast. Yeah, I need to get back on to playing this. I was doing like those, uh, like cop role play servers where it's like cops uh, you play as a cop or just a regular citizen and they'll have like two way traffic on so you can go whatever direction you want but if you go s past a certain speed limit that they have uh, they'll try to pull you over and it's, it's pretty fun I don't think it's something that could really be recorded because I haven't really played on here with anyone who has a microphone and I don't know if you can use a microphone I don't really think of that I'd have to check that out and see because if you can use a mic that would make that entire like Pulling over and writing out tickets and stuff a lot easier. Because you'd play it and be like, uh, reckless driving. We always did the, uh, the three out of three, you have to change a car. So your third pullover, um, after your third pullover, you have to change cars and have a whole different driving style. You don't have to have a dr different driving style, but it's nice to change it up for people. Um, boy because sometimes you get into those lobbies and people just constantly like they'll get in and they'll just floor it they'll drive reckless constantly no matter what car they're using and then people will get annoyed and just kick them And uh, this Friday is going to be, I already recorded the video, this Friday is going to be the last episode of Call of Duty 3. Uh, it's going to be the end of it. Um, I don't know, I think next week I might do one last video on it, um, just of me playing online against people, because I've never played the game online other than when I first got the game. Uh, before I started recording it, I tried online just to see if anyone was in the servers. And there was like three servers, and I was like, holy fuck. There's people still playing this game. Uh, so I think I might do that, because mostly because it's going to be my last chance to do it. Um, that game is dying and has been dying for a long time. Um, but I'm going to continue the series. Uh, next game is actually going to be uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. But I want to see if, if the remastered version for PS4 is actually the remastered version. Like if the story mode is exactly the same and stuff like that. Um, if it isn't the same, I'm going to play the PS3 version, like the original version, and then eventually I'll play the remastered one separately. Um, but if it's very similar, I'll just play that one instead. Uh, I'm trying to get like the best quality videos out of each one. Like Call of Duty 3, I could have played it on the Wii, the PlayStation 2, um, 
GameCube, stuff like that. Uh, I think original Xbox. I don't think it was on 360. Um, but I could have done the videos on there, but I reached out and I got uh, the version for PS3 because it had better quality. Um, it was HD instead of the 720p. Um, so I figured I'm going to do that the rest of the way out uh, with the whole series is try to get uh, the best looking video of everyone that I can. Uh, but I'm doing the series not by, like, not by the order, like the actual chronological order. I'm going by the release year. Um, like, whatever one was released first, I started that one. Um, but I beat every game up to four so, so far. And then I don't know what's uh, after four. I think it might be Black Ops. Because I already did uh, the original Call of Duty for PC uh, back in 2003. Uh, what's the other one? It was uh, United Offensive. I don't remember the exact order in which they all go. Um, after United Offensive, I think I did two. Then Call of Duty 2, the big red one. And then the Finest Hour. And then Call of Duty 3. Uh, Finest Hour, I think, was on Xbox 360. I did one of them on Xbox 360, and I really enjoyed that one. Um, but I can't wait until I get to the ones where the controller feels more, um, more accurate, and you can actually set the sensitivity exactly the way you like it. Um, and also, because Call of Duty 3 also didn't have uh, where you could run, like press L3 down and run, uh, which would be very nice to be able to do. Um, on to race three. This one is six laps. Oh, geez. Still a small track, though. Uh, this is one of the newer ones, too. I don't care for this track. I've raced on it a couple times. It's just not... It feels weird. And judging by the sound of the suspension going around that one turn, uh, I think I have my suspension too hard. Uh, which I probably did because the Nürburgring... It is good to have hard suspension. There's not a whole lot of little bumps. It's mostly like big dips and stuff like that. You're right. I know you're supposed to pass on the left, but this isn't online, so I'm not really worried about it. Long time ago on this game, I had a fight with someone online about that. Uh, they're like, what fucking idiot's passing on the left? I'm like, it's common race etiquette that you always pass on the left. And he was one of those fucking people that the only thing he can drive is a uh, fucking Red Bull. Or one of the X-Spec vehicles, or the GRX. on. Excuse me. Okay, rah, rah, you fucker. Use your brakes, goddammit. Instead, he used me. <laughs> got on the gas a little early on that one. Okay. Okay. Not good. Not very good. 
Things aren't going as good as I was planning them to go. I don't know. I would also like to do... I don't know. I'd like to do a lot more racing games on the channel. But I think no matter what, Call of Duty is always going to be on Friday. Um, and I'm always going to have a racing game on Monday because it's easier to have... Like, a racing video is very easy for me to do on a Monday, because it's something, like, you don't have to worry about, like, any storylines or anything like that. You just get in and you drive, and you win. Um, Tuesday, testing Tuesday is starting to become a pain in the ass, honestly. Um, just due to the fact that it's so hard to earn money on GTA um, and then the editing for those videos takes a while it's like a good couple hours of doing that shit uh, but videos like this this is also very easy to edit just edit out all the waiting screens uh, stuff like that and it's pretty quick and simple to go through because I like to show like, the entire race. I don't know why some people would be like, oh, I'm going to cut it right here and then show the last lap. I also show up every... or I also show every time I fuck up in a game. <laughs> uh, that's what makes... In, yeah, that's what makes uh, editing the Call of Duty videos so easy for me, is every time I die... I'll edit the video up until the point where I died. So I'll be alive right where I died at. Um, so it pretty much shows the whole thing, but uh, including when I die, not just... Not that, but it'll show when I die, and then I'll get rid of me getting up to the point where I died again, because no one wants to see the same shit over and over like that. Uh, which is also the reason why I'm not, like, why I am trying to not use the same car twice in this game. Like, every series I've been trying to use a different car, because no one wants to see me use the same car for every race. But I would love to do a challenge video, um, to try to get a car that could do every race, which I know is impossible because there's some races where it's manufacturer-based, um, drivetrain-based, stuff like that. Um, so I wouldn't be able to get very far. So it'd be like, you need something lightweight, uh, rear-wheel drive, um, shit, what else? Manufactured in some specific place. But there'd be at least three races that you couldn't do, or four. There's definitely more than that, though, that you wouldn't be able to participate in. But I think it'd be a cool idea to just see how far, or how many races you could do using only one car. I need to start hitting the apexes a little better than I've been. Do do do. Do do do. I also did realize when I'm not talking, I do a lot better when driving. But I don't like just sitting there and driving. Like, I don't want to do a video where I just drive and I don't say a single word. Like, I'm going off the fucking road. Good thing I have four-wheel drive. And I'm 11 seconds ahead of second place.
could have gone faster through that turn. Love the sound of the cars in this game, too. around that one I try to like critique myself um, but I also need to like in general learn this track better learn where to floor it and stuff like that because they only added this track like maybe a month ago a month or two ago um, and this is I believe my third time racing on it so I'm not very familiar with it Um, like, the two tracks that I know very well uh, is Nurburg and uh, Laguna Seca, which is uh, Mazda Raceway. Those two I fucking love. Um, Laguna Seca is good if you want to do, like, shorter lap racing, but I just love that one dip that it has. It's like a left turn while leaning very sharp. And then a right turn at this, like, immediately after while turning very sharp. Or no, the left turn's almost flat. And then the right dips like a fucking Hot Wheels track. Come on, boy. Wish they would have had like the 2000, uh, what is it, like the 2006, the Bug Eye versions of the uh, Impreza. Those are the ones that I like. I know a lot of people don't like how they look, but I don't know. I like Bug Eye like headlights on cars, like the Beetle and stuff. And across the line. My last lap was the third, third fastest one that I did. That wasn't very good. Uh, what one was that? Was that race three or four? Uh, that was race three. Okay, on to four. This one is four laps. Uh, but, and uh, this isn't a very short track though. This takes quite a while to get around this one. And break. I know this one a little bit. Uh, this, I think this is the one that I did with the uh, Dodge Challenger. was one of the muscle car or yeah the muscle car series that I had to do I'd rather do those ones like all the time I'm not a very big uh, sports car person I've always been in the like muscle cars and I don't even care that much for like I know a lot of kids when they were like 10, 12. I did have a Lamborghini Diablo poster, um, but I wasn't, like, a big fan of Lamborghini. I never was. Um, Lamborghini, Audi, uh, or Audi, depending on how you say it. Um, I just wasn't a fan of that type of stuff. Like, I like... 
like older older sports cars too, like the uh, what was it, the Jaguar E Type? I love that Aston Martin DB5. Um, just in general, classic cars. Um, so pretty much whenever I can use one, I will. I didn't hit the wall. That's why they have that there. Okay. He's in first, so... That's not going to be hard to get up there. On the inside. Yeah, some of these turns, you got to be paying attention. I thought for sure I was gonna hit that fucking wall, though. Come on, Cletus. I don't know why I keep saying Cletus. Actually, I do know why. The uh, nutty professor, the clumps. Come on, Cletus! Come on! The fucking grandmother on there. I need to get back to uh, live streaming on Twitch again, too. Uh, which, if you guys are not following me on Twitch, uh, check the links in the description down below. Uh, or uh, go to my... Uh, YouTube channel, and I'll have it on my banner up the, at the top. Um, I I never promote my stuff. That's something that I need to do, but I I don't want to feel like one of those uh, people that start up their episodes. Hey everybody, uh, today I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Blah 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 blah, and then uh, you never know if they actually did do a giveaway or not because there's no way of proving that they could. Or that they did. I mean, I'm sure there's a way to prove it, but it's like... The way I see it is if one person got it, then, like, everyone else is like, Oh, I didn't get it. And if no one got it, everyone else thinks someone else got it. If that makes sense. Cut in... Just those, those people that are constantly energetic. I gotta do it again! I was going even faster that time. We're good. Definitely would have done more damage in real life. I'm cutting so far. I need to clean my fucking act up. I gotta. I can race better this, better than this. I don't know why I'm driving like garbage. I would love to get a steering wheel and stuff for this though, but that's that's way in the future. That's like after I uh, can afford it. <laughs> Because if I'm going to get one, I'm going to get one that's worth my while. I'm going to get one with, like, the stand, uh, shifter, pedals. Uh, I know a lot of them already come with pedals, but there's not... I know not all of them come with, uh, shifters. Uh, I know a lot of them, though, do come with paddle shifters. But I would want, like, an actual manual with a clutch and all that. I don't think we've done a single uh, dirt race on here either. Should have been hitting the brakes way before that. It's okay, we made it. We're 13 seconds ahead now, 
even with those two wrecks. Well, actually, there was three. I hit the guardrails over there last time. Let's try to pay attention to that turn. Because I'm going to make it this time. That's a sharp turn, though, if you look at the map. It's uh, the very next turn, I think. Yeah, it is. So that one that we just made. And I went really slow around it. Yeah, I need to learn this one, too. There's not a lot of... Like, the later tracks... Like, I've played a shit ton of... Uh, Gran Turismo 5. I played a little bit of Gran Turismo 6. Uh, 6 is pretty much a DLC to 5. That's all that really is. Because um, I played it and everything's exactly the same. Um, the graphics look exactly the same and stuff. The graphics on here look quite a bit better. I will say that. Um, and the handling. The handling feels different, but it's much like, much more realistic than, like, the newer Forza games and stuff. The Forza games are too arcadey, and you have people out there that always say, they're like, Forza's way better than Gran Turismo. First of all, Gran Turismo is a real racing game, uh, whereas, like I said, Forza's, like, arcadey. It's like, uh, the crew and uh, Midnight Club. Don't get me wrong, I fucking love Midnight Club. Midnight Club 3 was my shit growing up. I played that so much. I played Gran Turismo, or yeah, Gran Turismo 3. I did play that. Um, but growing up, it was always GTA San Andreas and Midnight Club 3. Those two games, always. I didn't really play much more than that. Uh, other than that, I would occasionally play uh, Command and Conquer Red Alert. Throwback. That was a pretty fun game. Okay, I missed the wall. We'll be able to miss the wall this time, too, up here, I do believe. I'm going to break later than I did last time. Last time I hit the brakes pretty early. Uh, we gotta start turning now to hit that apex right. I hit it decently, not exactly how I wanted to. And this is a pretty wide road. Okay. That's probably the best I've done that turn so far. Uh, I'm sure if I did like 10 more laps on it, I'd have it down, like the whole track down pat. Like, no problem at all. Um, especially if I was actually concentrating. Like I said, when I'm talking, concentration goes right out the window. This is our final straight. Come on, boy, yeet it. I hope that's our fastest lap, too. It was. On to the last race. This one is a six lapper, but this is our first off-road race. Um, this is gonna be something. I might end up, in all honesty, I might end up losing this one. Um, because it is not set up for dirt. I was not expecting this. Um, my suspension set very hard, as you could see by how high I was hitting those jumps uh, with the uh, AI driving. I still got it, though. I, I can get it to go where I want. I mean, this is four-wheel drive, so it's a lot easier than the uh, the rear-wheel drive vehicles on here. The front-wheel drive are terrible. 
um, the Ford Focus RS on here, it's not that bad, but the front wheel drive, you can tell it most of the time you're just spinning your wheels and not doing much. Um, it's hard to gain a lot of speed. I think the worst thing I drove on here is probably the original Mini Cooper. The hard thing on here, though, is going to be to pass people. What's my ratio set to? Front 45, yeah. Give us a little bit more front action. Uh, six laps. Am I going to be able to pass these guys all? by the sixth lap? That's the question. Try to go on the far inside there. Front wheel drive, if you have a little bit more, uh, like, I'd say 50-50 is good, but if you can get a tiny bit more pull on the front, you can aim more where you're looking to aim. Uh, mine's 45-55 right now, 45 in the front, 55 in the rear, but with this vehicle, it's handling it fairly good. Um, so I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. Got to cut these in hard to get any good time out of it. We only have two more cars to pass. And if we pass these last two, we're in first. And I don't see myself making any huge errors on this one. Even though I might. Um, we're on our third lap. We're halfway through. And I passed quite a few people. But I need to catch up to first. Okay, I see first. That's a good start. Definitely that turn, like this area right here, is where I'm doing my best as far as making time. See this, this I'm having a lot of fun with. I like the challenge of catching up to first place. Uh oh, we're fucked. Not really. One little mistake. But, like, I like the challenge of trying to get to first. Because once I get to first, I don't normally lose first place after I get there. Especially against AIs. Um, I might even start doing videos of, uh, just because it's fun. Like the GTA 5 NASCAR, like the hot ring races. Those are fun. Uh, but... People play so dirty on those races that it kind of makes it not fun. Uh, when they had a triple money, that was fun as shit. I do remember from uh, taking like the driving courses of this and stuff, always hit these jumps straight on if you can. I did like all the classes in the game just to get them over with. Um, I believe I have all my licenses. Um, I didn't realize this earlier, but the B spec on Gran Turismo 5, I will not be doing any of the B spec because B spec is just you're playing as like the pit crew chief. And that's not really fun for me. Uh, you can pick the car and stuff like what you use but you aren't actually driving. You just tell the person, oh, speed up, uh, slow down, pass, this and that. It's not, that to me is not interesting. Um, so I'm just gonna do the regular um, 
races and then call it a day when all that's done. goes pretty good. This is by far one of the best handling off-road uh, vehicles that I've had. Um, or best vehicles I've had off-road. I know it's a Subaru Impreza and they have a good off-road heritage, but this specific one isn't my choice by a long run. Um, I would have gone with the older one, actually. Um, I like that more, but this is handling very well, even though I have a uh, street setup on it. I'm assuming it automatically put off-road tires on it, though. Meow. First off-road race. Noise. I'm trying to do it just a little bit of third person because uh, I know it sometimes is better like as far as watching someone drive third person's more interesting um, but personally I drive better in first person I think I don't know, I'm still taking like the same lines as I was in uh, first person. First jump, second jump, second one was barely even any air. On to our last lap. Gotta to toss the ass end around just a little. Huh. This one I did the challenges for. I think that's why I'm good at this track. Is I've done so many laps on this trying to beat the challenge. Um, I believe it was this track. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, but they'll put you in like last place and you have like two laps to pass everyone. Um, but they hand you like a specific car. So you have to really make every turn count. And you have to have your car set up good and figure out what works the best for you. All that sort of stuff. Gave a little too much around there that time. Slid the other way a bit. It's okay though. It's probably that extra uh, percentage in the rear that's turning us a bit when we go through. And we finished. Um, I'm pretty sure, I know that was the last race, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to get a uh, daily reward for uh, all the races today. Well, I mean, we did finish a whole series, so I would half expect it. Um, next time, we're doing the front engine rear wheel drive challenge. Um, what vehicles am I going to be going against? Oh no, I might use a muscle car for this. I already did the RX-7. Um, I didn't do a Camaro. I know there's a... What do I have? I have the M4. I have the SS Camaro Corvette C2. I thought I had the C3. Oh, they just added the Z28. That's one of the vehicles that I was actually looking forward to. It got the Vipers. 
already did the Challenger in a video. Mustang Mach 1. Now that's something. Mine's green though. I don't know why it has a picture of it yellow. Um, that's something I could use in it. The uh, 67 Nova. That is a fucking monster of a car. Um, that would kill anything and everything on here. Uh, but it has a max of 591 horsepower. Um, I'll work on that later, but let's see what we got for our daily workout. Uh, I see a Viper and what looks like a... Okay, it's an RX-7 race car of some sort. Oh, no, it's not. It is not an RX-7. That looked like one from the shadow. Uh, okay. An Amuse S2000. Um, okay, I'll take it. I don't really have much of a choice. I don't already have it. Um, but as far as front engine rear wheel drive goes, I think I will probably, I don't know, the Mach 1 is very high on the list of things that are likely to be used in the next episode. Um, but I don't have anything picked out for that, so I'll probably get back into driving normally like I've been. Um, but what I also do, see, what happened was I got this one, this one, and this one. I got all three of those. I got the cars ready, um, so that they would be ready, um, when I actually did the video, but... This one, I'm, I'll figure something out. I'll figure out a good, fun car. Um, something that definitely should be fun. Uh, show only available. Okay, so I have... I'm just going to go down quick and see. I just won that one. That's probably... Usually they give you a car for the next race. That way you don't have to buy one. I uh, already did a video on that. I haven't used the Jaguar yet. I have two or three of them of the E-types. Uh, already did the RX-7. I don't know if I did a video on the 1990 RX-7. Uh, definitely did the uh, Roadsters. Now that, the Trans Am. See... What I want to do is save the really, really, truly fun cars for the races that have a lot of races. Like this one has five. I would like to use this on something with at least six or seven races. Um, so I don't, like, waste the opportunity in the video. Um, I definitely use the Super, so I might not have used the 1990 RX-7. Um, but I don't think I would end up using that for this series. Um, what are we looking at? Five lap. Okay, so none of them are extremely long races. So I'll probably end up doing the Mach 1 for that, but I'll look around. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, post in the comments of a front engine rear wheel drive vehicle that you know is in the game. Uh, make something fun if you want, and I'll definitely, uh, take it into consideration, uh, unless no one posts anything. Sometimes, most of the time, people don't post a suggestion about stuff like that. But, if you do, I'll definitely consider it. Most likely, I will do it. Um, but that's gonna be the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.